Hi, Christina. How are you? What? Where are we right now? Uh, in a hostel in Windhoek, in Namibia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Enjoying and our last days before going back home. And what what did you do the last two weeks here in Namibia? Oh, uh, a lot of things. Um, so we started with a week of volunteering in mm -hmm. an um, animal sanctuary, which was really cool because it's it's not like a zoo, but it's actually people like animals that were rescued and um, some of them they can't be released in the wild because it's too dangerous since they're used to humans and um, there we were able to help out with feeding and um, they also um, basically took us along on any of their trips they do like for example um, the anti-poaching uh, team that are patrolling in the reserve to make sure that the rhinos are not getting poached um, so it was really interesting to learn about that happening yeah. highlights of the yeah. trip sorry what were the highlights of your trip um, of that first part uh, the highlights uh, there were so many uh, because i never got so close to wild animals before and it was, uh, was so cool like um, being able to play with a baby baboon um, <laughs> they were just roaming around there we even had one for one night uh, in our room and um, also look looking at the, like uh, big cats so close um, and when we, we were able to feed them as well and uh, actually quite unplanned uh, we originally had planned like a relaxing um, day at a pool in the lodge in the reserve and then unfortunately a, a fire uh, broke out mm -hmm. and um, all the volunteers were basically helping like, um, to stop the fire and mm -hmm. it was also quite um, educational about mm. uh, wildfires and how, how like, big a problem they are here in yeah. Yeah. and um, yeah and the second part which was basically a round trip um, around Namibia um, I think the highlight was just seeing how diverse the country is it's mm. not just the savannah what you think but uh, we also went to the Atlantic Ocean and um, of course you have the colonial um, um, like houses from the mm -hmm. colonial times there, so the influences and everything, it's very interesting to see. Mm -hmm. It was a bit like being at the Baltic Sea but with palm trees, because <laughs> it was quite cold as well, uh, in comparison to the hot desert. Yeah. And um, yeah, and then we went into the desert as well, we did quad biking on the dunes, uh, which was uh, really fun. And uh, yeah, we climbed the dune. So yeah, a lot of highlights <laughs> on cool. the whole trip. What what <coughs> what did you did you didn't you expect before the trip that you would do here? Like if you're fighting like, a wildfire. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I definitely did not expect that. Also, like being able to look after a baby baboon, like uh, like that uh, closely. I didn't expect that. I thought we would just be like feeding, and that's all. Um, and uh, yeah, but I didn't expect to be walking on a dune, <laughs> uh, like Laurent from Arabia. Um, what, is the, what is the experience that you will tell your friends most likely about? That's good. There's so many really. Um, I think Where the experiment, start? experience in general, <laughs> yeah. like the whole group, the dynamic was really cool. So it didn't really feel like uh, traveling alone at all. Um, I was very worried at the beginning when I booked the tour. Um, so basically I just wanted to do some uh, trip a bit further abroad and I found uh, this one and it, it was like it's been tw 12 years last time I traveled so far by myself mm -hmm. so I was really 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 nervous but then the minute I arrived like uh, we really connected well and it never felt like I was traveling alone it was really feeling like we came here as a group um, so um, I will tell the people about that and um, yeah and of course all the animal encounters we had like the saw a big group of elephants that was just amazing in Atosha right yeah, yeah. in the Atosha park uh, we didn't really expect it and it was right at the end before the exit um, we, there was this huge group and there was even a tiny elephant baby it was mm. only like two weeks old and it was just amazing to see that and that we also found a leopard which is really hard uh, to find and um, yeah, we'll tell them about uh, how amazing it is to see these people, these animals in their natural habitat. It's mm. nothing compared to the zoo yeah. Yeah. in Europe. It's a bit different. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what will be your next trip? Yeah, that's a good question. I, uh, I think I will definitely do Kyrgyzstan uh, because I had really good experiences going to Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan. Um, so I would like to see that. I and mean, it looks like a really interesting trip. 
but uh, yeah, there are quite a lot of other interesting ones like Tanzania, I could imagine doing, and Nepal also met his Mongolia. <laughs> okay, I'll uh, sign you up for all of these. <laughs> 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 yeah, cool. Um, <clears throat> Christine, what, uh, what would you tell anyone who's considering of booking a trip legend trip? Um, what should he or, sh uh, he or she know before doing that? Um, I think uh, you shouldn't hesitate to uh, use their WhatsApp service, because what I did, because I was obviously very worried and I did ask a lot of questions via WhatsApp and um, it was really helpful and um, also connect with the group before. Um, so we had a WhatsApp group before we started and then we chatted a bit, so um, you could definitely make use of that. And um, yeah, I think just read the... Uh, uh, um, the, uh, it's itinerary? Yeah, the itinerary properly, so you know what to expect. But I mean, obviously, also be open for the unexpected, <laughs> which is the nice thing about uh, this trip <laughs> that there's also surprises. <laughs> Thank you very much, Christine. Have a safe flight home. Thank you. <laughs>